Being a big sister of four has always been very important to me. It seems to grow with importance as I get older. My husband and I liken ourselves to hip and young grandparents because all of the excessive spoiling that occurs. I want all of my siblings to have it easier and better than I did. So when I found out about Jacob's diagnosis of Duchenne, I was in absolute disbelief. How is a big sister supposed to protect her adorable seven-year-old brother from something so ruthless and devastating? I remember the first time I laid eyes on my brother Jacob. I was in the delivery room when he was born. He was tiny blue and had the strongest lungs I have ever heard. Jacob was absolutely perfect, besides the fact that he would cry an awful lot. Never once did it cross my mind that in the future we would have to worry about Duchenne slowly making those lungs not so powerful. For about a year, I regretfully ignored his diagnosis thinking, they must have gotten it wrong. It didn't take long for me to realize that I was in denial and that I wasn't being the big sister Jacob needed. My first step to taking my job as a big sister seriously was when I went to camp with Jacob. There I got to meet other boys his age who also had Duchenne. I felt like I came home having more little brothers, and I knew that my life was meant to help Jacob and every other in his shoes. As soon as I returned home, I began researching the disease further. I reached out to families to help me better understand Duchenne and I learned how to better care for my brother. When Cure Duchenne first reached out to have me write a song for their organization, I was honored and thrilled because I would be using my talent to help my brother. It took a year before I was able to write the song. Every time I felt inspired to write, the words would come out so hopeless, negative, and weak. One day I woke up and I knew exactly what I wanted to write. A week later, Runaway was written, recorded, and produced. The song started out as a simple idea and quickly turned into a project involving a lot of hands. And that is what led to the Runaway Project. The Runaway Project is a bunch of creative ideas that allow me and so many others to raise money and awareness for Cure Duchenne. However, I cannot help my brother by raising money and awareness alone. This is where Kirdu Shen comes in with an outstanding knowledge of where to direct the money raised to the most promising research for a cure for all with Duchenne. My song Runaway and any funds raised through the Runaway Project are donated in their entirety to Cure Duchenne for that very reason. I have dedicated my life to saving my brother Jacobs, and sometimes I know I'm not being fair to my husband, Mark. Even though I don't always put him first, I want him to always know how much I love him and appreciate his love for me and my brother. Mark wrote me a card that I make sure to keep with me when I travel. When I start to feel sad, lonely, and on the verge of giving up, I read his loving words and know he's supporting me and helping my brother. I could never dream of keeping up with you 100% of the time, but always know that I will be here to support everything you do, even if that means I don't get to keep you all to myself. Celebrating Cure Duchenne's 10-year anniversary is bittersweet. 10 is such a scary number for a child with Duchenne. That is when they could start losing their ability to walk. Jacob loves to dance with his big sister. Even when my moves are super, super lame. Jacob loves to ride all of the really, really fast roller coasters. He takes for granted his ability to walk away when he loses a game of old maid. Jacob's dream is to have a treehouse castle playground built in his backyard. Jacob loves life and the simple pleasures it allows. And since I can't give him my healthy muscles, I have given him my stubborn determination of doing all I can to help aid in finding a cure for Duchenne. Jacob is so special to our entire family and he is just one child out of 300,000 diagnosed with Duchenne. There are hundreds of thousands of families just like mine feeling just like we do. It scares me when I think of what is ahead for Jacob, but I have to remind myself to keep the positivity, hope, and faith that God has put this in our lives for a reason. I believe he knows who can change the path of this destructive disease and finally cure Duchenne. Jacob, if you feel alone in the night, don't be afraid. I'll tell you a story to chase your fears away. Every hour, even when your tears fall like rain, I'll make your laughs and your giggles stay. 
I'll be there beside you all the way, making you feel so brave. Any time when there's so much heartache and despair, together we will run far, far, far away.